Hey peeps, Galusia here, and today we're starting a brand new series, Minecraft Top 3. Okay, so first up at number 3 is Lies Resource Pack. I'm assuming it's Lies, L-I-I-E Resource Pack. Uh, made by Lies, Lies 101. Links will be in the description for everyone's resource packs that we're going to be looking at today. But you can see it's definitely cartoony. It definitely fits the bill for the cartoony. Uh, I like the good use of vibrant colors without being too crazy. Some of the resource packs that I looked at that were cartoonish were like way too bright. Like Adventure Time style bright. And it can make it hard to actually play. It might be nice to look at for a few minutes, but actually playing in it over time gets to be a bit of a strain. So we got a skeleton. Which has kind of a... Almost looks like he has weird... Like his mouth goes into bizarre sideburns. Some zombies. Throw a slime in there. It's like a party. It's a party and everybody is invited. The creepers. I like the variables in skins here. Lots of different types of creepers. Which is interesting. That one, I guess, like camouflage? Right? Like it's supposed to look like stone? Hey, look, I'm just stone with some coal. Come hug me. No. <laughs> And then we've got our, there's a big one, magma cubes, which, not a huge difference, but I like the zombie pigman, and I like that, uh, the weapons, because the weapons have a big difference, big change. So those ones are pretty rad. But yeah, everything kind of pops off really nice. Uh, the vines look really nice on the trees. Good uh, particle effects, like certain things that not everybody does. I like it when resource packs make window panes clear. And you can't really see the lines between them until you get, like, you know, up on them. Well, I guess I would have to up on them. So we can really clearly see through here. But the villagers are bizarre. Not sure what they were going for for that. I like the little... They have, like, necklaces. Like, that one's vegetables. That one's meat. But the... <laughs> but, yeah, the... Not really sure what we were going for for the faces. If we're referencing something there, I didn't get it. And, uh find it to be a little bit odd and then the animals not too not much differences except the sheep to me look like they have little puppy dog faces my sheep look at your little puppy dog face look like a little maltese man he really is interested in that wheat but one of the things i like about this pack besides the rails actually i didn't even notice the rails before a little bit mess messed up in the textures but i think they look really nice but i like the ore a lot of resource packs will make textures for ore that makes it hard to discern what it is. Sometimes you can't tell the difference between it and something else, but this is very easy and clear to see and understand what those differences are. Overall, good pack comes in at number three. Now for this resource pack, we turn to Very Mad Crafter for his Mad Pixels cartoony resource pack. Right off the bat, one of the things I like about this is the fact that it's only 16 pixels, so it's not enhanced at all. It's just standard Minecraft in terms of the pixels go, which makes it a lot easier for everybody to use it. Because a lot of the resource packs that I'm going to cover in this episode and throughout the series are going to be at least 64x, if not higher. And for those of you not in the know, that's like the resolution or the pixel count. And the higher that number goes, basically, the better your computer has to be. So this is only 16x, and it looks really, really good for 16x, because not everything can pull that off. Very the car But cartoony is definitely one of those places you can pull that off, because the textures can be more simplistic and still look great. I love this villager. Looking like a cool guy. Looking cool, sir. Again, simplistic, but there are varieties, and I like how everything has, like, a border to it. Like, see how the zombie's head is light and then dark in the center, and this one, same, like, light, dark in the center. He's wearing, like, a helmet. Everything kind of has this, like, border to it. Which gives it an interesting look, I think. And it... Look, the witch's head's kind of like a slime. Spiders? Oh, I put the spider in the wall. No. Oh, no, I did it again. I'm so sorry. It's getting crowded in here. Move. Move. Ah. Ah, spiders. And again, even in a place that's supposed to be dark and menacing, the zombie pigmen have very bright pinks. 
I think that looks good. I like it. I think the spots on the larger mushrooms look brilliant, especially more at a distance. The red ones seem to kind of sparkle, and the brown ones really stand out. Again, like uh, something that needs more detail, like vines, looks surprisingly good under the 16X. Not super crazy about the windows with the big lines. That's not what I mean. I guess they're trying to like make it look like it's framed out, and I get that. But me personally, like I'm not a huge fan. It's one of the things that kept it off at number one because I do really like this pack. Uh, but I'm a stickler for details. But the villager detail, I like the differences in the villagers. We saw the one with the cool guy glasses. This guy's got like a regular smoothed out looking face. That guy's got the beard. But yeah, so I like the variety in villagers. Again, working with what they have. Uh, I, the glowstone looks fantastic. The water, very clean. I like clean looking water. And how about these? Like the brown pig? That's cool. I do like the brown pig. But otherwise, not giant leaps in terms of the differences in the animals here, but they do look nice. Cool guy. Being cool, checking out the wheat. I love the stone, by the way. The stone looks fantastic. Again, cartoony should be a little bit exaggerated, and I like the waviness of the stone. I think that looks really good and exaggerated. And again, with the limited amount of pixels, he did a great job, in my opinion, of the ore, but it could be more cartoony. I mean, it, it, this is a pack that doesn't seem cartoony. It's literally in the name, Mad Paxel's Cartoony Resource Pack. And the ore is a bit bleh. It's, I think it should be a lot brighter and sparkle and shine. But overall, it's a fantastic pack. And it's definitely one that you could play for a while and really enjoy. And of all the packs that are on this list, it's definitely the easiest to handle. So if you don't have a supercomputer and you can't handle those HD resource packs and you want something cartoony, then this is definitely the one for you. Topping off our list at number one for the cartoony resource packs is Fax, also known as BD Craft. So anyone that watches my FTB series will be well aware of this resource pack because I use this resource pack for FTB. And I'm going to highlight some of that right now by showing you this and then talking about why I use it for FTB as well. I'm actually going into my menu so that you can see. So right now I have... The pure BD craft, which is like the actual thing. That's this one right here that I'm highlighting. But with that, there are so many options that you can add to it. You can just have that if you want. And there's less, there's lesser versions of it. You don't have to get the 128. That's just what I'm using. But you can see I have more 3D items, which does exactly what you would think it does. More 3D blocks. Again, what you think it would do. The sounds, which I think adds over 300 different sounds. And the point is to make it more to set more ambiance and to get more immersion in the game and same with the music pack they've added 39 songs to again set the mood in different locations and create more of an ambiance and that's just what i chose to get there's way way more that you can get for this including for mods they support over a hundred different mods with this style of textures and uh, audio resources, they change a lot of different things. I'll show you. Do it. Did you hear that? <laughs> yes, so the villagers are Jawas. Don't ask me why, but they are. I do really like how the spawn eggs are Pokeballs. I think that's a nice touch. There's some of those sound effects that we were talking about from the sound pack. You can hear how loud and menacing they are. Some of these sound effects would be in there anyway. That one's getting loud. Let's move to another one. But it gets way... Man, that's loud. It gets way worse with the... Uh, if you want to look at it that way. With the thing... Like, listen to the squishiness of the slime bouncing around. <laughs> Yeah, the, the sheer squishiness of the slime bouncing around is what it is what gets me. Oh, listen to it. Oh, it's like it's like someone's. It's like those slime buckets that we had when we were kids that like you like push your hand into and it would just. Bleh. So look at the effects on the floor here. Look at these animations. This is Netherrack, and then this is Soul Soul Sand.
But yeah, I really feel like that music can really definitely set a tone or a mood, depending on what you're doing in the game. Like I said, they added a lot of it. I think it's really cool. <laughs> Listen to that sick piano solo. But uh, And then, like, other things, like, they're not exaggerated when I say cartoony. Not quite as cartoony as some of the other packs. They just have that bright, cartoony-style <laughs> feel to them. While still maintaining the integrity of the original textures and what the game looks like. Minus the Jawas. Ah, he did it! Utini! I was, like, waiting for that Utini. Ah, he did now he's doing it like non-stop. Okay, that's enough. I didn't need 17 Utinis. Some of the animals, they didn't really touch much. Like the horses. I mean, llamas are pretty new, so uh, maybe that's why. Other animals, though, like they really... You can mostly see it in the faces. They have a variety of face and like spot differences. You can see here with the pigs. Like these two pigs have spot differences. He's kind of got like a mean look on his face. Look, that's an angry pig. Look at that pig. He is angry at life. But otherwise, they didn't change much. But they did with the crops. I like what they did here. I'm not... I think these textures are... Broken? This is part of the resource pack. This is an additional thing that doesn't come with it. This is like the more 3D blocks thing. So it's actually making the vines for these look like very 3D as you can see. But the watermelons is broken. So there are some issues. This resource pack is not perfect. But perfect enough to get on to number one. And I really like the ore. I think this is the perfect amount of... It's, you know, it's exaggerated. And it's a bit cartoony, but it's it's very bright. I mean, look at the emeralds. Like, they really shine. The gold really has that shine to it. The diamonds, like the things that should shine. Look at the pulsating glow of the redstone. Like, that's what you would think redstone would actually be doing. Look at these gears in the tracks actual animated gears the animation like there's animations everywhere things that aren't normally animated are now in this resource pack the main reason i decided to put it on my number one is just from the sheer level of uh, of animations that get added that really bring minecraft to life like i said if you haven't watched my ftb series i'll give you a recommendation to pop over there and check it out because you can see a lot of this in action including for all the mods that are added with infinity evolved so that's it for our first episode of Minecraft Top 3, covering the cartoony resource packs of Minecraft. Thank you all very much for coming out today. I appreciate the view and support. As always, I'd like to quickly mention some of the links that you're going to see on screen right now. One of those links is going to actually take you to a secret behind-the-scenes video that only you can get to from clicking that link. It's an unlisted video, but for the true fans that make it all the way to the end of this video... And want to see more of Galusia. I have an over two hour long video of me making the majority of this map. I don't finish the map in that video because it went for over two hours. But me working on the map. And it's not just me building a map silently in the dark. Uh, I cover a lot of topics. It, it's kind of like a monologue if you will. I go on to discuss a lot of different things. And if you're a true fan of the show. Of the channel of me then you're definitely gonna to want to check that out because i cover a lot of topics and uh, i think it's going to be pretty interesting for you so you can click on that link to get some secret behind the scenes footage of the making of minecraft top three but that's it for me today again thank you all very much and i will see each and every one of you on the next episode of minecraft top three later